Hi guys, it's Sarah again. We're here today. I have my sister Nikki with me. And Hello. And we're going to be showing you how to play volleyball. Now, we're not going to go too much into it. Volleyball is a game that me and my sister have always loved to play since we were little. And it's something that we continuously do. And we use the game just to have fun with each other and, you know, relieve some stress after a hard day of work and homework. And so today we're going to show you um, how to have a, the right form, how to hit a volleyball. We're also going to show you how you can play with one another in different ways. And we're just going to show you a game that we actually made up together when we were little. So let's get started. First, we are going to show you how to hit a volleyball. So the first one is whenever you're going to hit the ball when the ball is below your shoulders. So you want to start with your arm all the way out in front of your body and you want to make a fist with your hand. Now you can do this with either hand that you choose, but I'm just going to use my left hand today to show you how to do it. So first you want to have the fist and you want to have your thumb pointed down to the ground like that. Second, you want to bring this hand like you're high-fiving your fist and put them together. And now you want both of your thumbs pointing down to the ground, okay? And you want to have a flat surface with this part of your arm, just making sure that when you hit the ball, it's going to go in the right direction, which is straight up and not go side to side. Okay? So, once we have that down, we are going to put our arms together like this, and then you want to have your legs shoulder width apart, and you want them pointed straight where you want the ball to go. So I want the ball to go to you, then I'm going to have my feet pointed towards you and my legs shoulder width apart. Okay, so next, after we do that, we got our fist and we got our, our other hand around our fist. And we want to bend our knees like this so we can bounce. Okay, and this will help us make the ball go up more. Now, a little secret tip that I'll tell you is whenever you're going to hit the ball, if you want to put some more power behind it, it is way easier if whenever you're doing this, you want to take a step with your foot forward like that, because that'll make the ball go higher and it'll go more powerful, okay? Now the pass that I just showed you is called a pass or it's called a bump. So it is called a bump or it's called a pass. But Nikki, isn't there one more that I'm missing? Yes, there is. It's called a volley or a set. Right, it is called a volley or a set. Now I call this a set pass. So I'm gonna show you how to do this too. First, you wanna start off with your hands in a triangle. Here, I'll come closer to show you. Where your hands kind of in a triangle and make sure your, your fingers can move flexibly, okay? And another way you can make sure that your fingers are moving flexibly is just by doing this for a minute. This will help you loosen up those fingers and stretch them like we were talking about in our last video, okay? Speaking of, did you guys do your stretches today? Okay, so for this set, like I said, we're going to have our fingers in a triangle, but this time they're going to be above our shoulders for passes that are coming from above our shoulders. So if the ball is really high up in the air, you want to use this one, okay? So how we're going to do it is you're literally just going to have your hands still in that triangle, making a triangle with your thumbs and your index finger. And you're also going to bend your knees for this one. And you're going to take a step and push up, okay? So we're going to show you how to use these whenever Nikki's going to pass me the ball. Okay, so now we're going to show you actually how to use these passes. Okay, so Nikki's going to throw me the ball and I'm just going to show you and I'm going to tell you which one I need to use, all right? All right, let's get started. Go ahead, Nick. Now this is below the shoulders, so you want to use this way, okay? Next one. All right, this is above my shoulders, so I'm going to set it, all right? Let's do more. All right, below the shoulders. All right, let's keep going. All right, I'm going to use the set for that one. Bump for that one. Oh, that one almost tricked me. I almost did a set instead of a pass. All right, set it. And pass it. We'll do a couple 
little more, okay? We're going to set it. This one is a pass. This one is another pass. And this one is a set. Okay, now you're gonna watch us do it together. All right, we're gonna actually go back and forth. And that's actually called a volley as well. All right, let's get started. All right, I'm gonna start by throwing it to Nikki and we're just gonna go back and forth passing. There we go. That's a bump. This is a bump. Another bump. Another bump. Another bump. And a set. Stop. Oh, a set. A bump. A set. Okay? All right. So now that we showed you, we're going to do something else. All right, so me and Nikki are outside and we move to a different place. This is behind one of our garages. Now this garage has a brick wall and our parents said it's okay to use it to show you guys how we play our game. Now, you need to make sure you ask your parent or your guardian if it's okay to use a wall outside because we always wanna make sure that you don't get in trouble and that it's the right thing to do, okay? So let's get started. So what me and Nikki are going to do is we're going to use this wall and we're actually going to pass the ball back and forth to each other, okay? Okay, so me and Nikki were actually talking and we decided that we need to show you things that you shouldn't do with the volleyball, okay? This is for your safety and for other safety around you, alright? So we're going to get started with that. The first thing is you definitely do not want to hit the ball just all crazy and wacky like this because this can hurt your arms and if someone's standing behind you like Nikki is standing behind me if I go like this it's gonna smack her right in her body in her face or in her chest you never know so you always want to make sure you use the right form so you and others around you stay safe okay the next thing I'm gonna say that you really should be careful about is whenever you are setting or you're passing like this you need to make sure that you're using both hands because if you use one hand, it can actually really hurt your wrist and your fingers and your whole hand. So you have to be really careful about that because we don't want any injuries when we're playing. We want to make sure that we're safe and that we have a good time, okay? So here are some things that you don't want to do, all right? Nikki's going to throw me the ball and we're going to show you things not to do, okay? Let's get started. Don't want to do that. That is not okay, all right? That actually hurt my hands when I did that myself. You wanna make sure you don't do that and you keep your passes very controlled and make sure that it, you keep yourself safe. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so we're gonna show you how we play our wall game. Now you wanna make sure that you use a wall that a parent, parent or a guardian tells you is okay to use. Our parents tell us that this one is okay to use, so we're going to go right ahead and get started on how we play, all right? So first, one of us is going to throw the ball up on the wall. And with our wall, it's actually slanted, so it's going to come down for us to be able to hit it back onto the wall. And we're going to play volleyball this way between each other. All right, we're going to get started, okay? So I'm going to throw it onto the wall, and Nikki's going to hit it first. All right, oh. Woo, that one was hard to get. See how I used that pass this time instead? All right, now actually something else that I didn't tell you guys is whenever you're playing, you actually want to call the ball. That is something that our gym teacher also taught us and so did our coach so you want to make sure you call it so no one gets confused and they don't get hurt so we're going to show you how to do that because the last clip of the video showed that we were a little confused on who was going to get it and we got a little mixed up and we eventually didn't get the ball and so that's something that you really got to work on so we're going to do that and show you ready Mine. I got it. Mine. 
what we did there? We messed up because we both didn't call it thinking that the other person was going to get the ball. So you always want to make sure you want to call the ball. So this is our game. I want to hear from you guys what you think about it. Ooh, all right, guys. So me and Nikki just did our cool down time. So what is our cool down time again? Our cool down time is whenever we do some stretches that helps us relax and get our muscles nice and loose so we don't experience any cramping or soreness later. So remember, you always want to do that, hopefully after every day, but if not every day, it's important to do it after you exercise, okay? Now me and Nikki have some water here because we want to stay hydrated after all that working out. So I want to hear from you guys in the comments what your favorite part about today's lesson was. Whether it was how to learn how to pass, the game that we showed you, or me and Nikki showing you how we can play together. All right, this is me and Nikki signing off, and we'll see you guys later, okay? Bye, I had fun with you guys today. All right, see you guys. Cheers. <laughs>